It's one of the last pieces by one of the best-loved artists. Pop artist Andy Warhol created this print of Britain's Queen Elizabeth II in 1985, just two years before his death. Bonham's auctioneers are expecting it to fetch a hefty sum, up to $93,000, equivalent to 60,000 British pounds, in this, the year of the Queen's Diamond Jubilee. The Warhol print was actually copied from another portrait in 1977, the year Her Majesty celebrated her Silver Jubilee. Bonham's print specialist Rupert Warhol talked about why this portrait is their star lot. It's certainly significant in this year being the, the Jubilee year. Um, it's, Warhol did four different versions of Queen Elizabeth. I think this is the most striking in terms of composition. Um, what makes this a bit more special is that it's a trial proof. So it's one of only 30 and each one of the 30 are done in different colours. So this is unique in its colours. It's got a very strong orange and green. Um, and yeah, it's nice, it's got the signature, which is what you want with a Warhol. Other lots on offer include Warhol's prints of John Wayne, Marilyn Monroe, and his iconic Campbell's soup cans. There are also five prints of Smoking Woman by British pop artist Julian Opie, who designed Blur's album Blur the Best Of, which are estimated at fifty to seventy thousand dollars for the set. Bonham's print sale takes place on Wednesday.